Hey, welcome this morning to the book of Philippians. We're going to read chapter 2, the first two verses. Therefore, if there is any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and mercy, fulfill my joy by being like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. There are a lot of problems that the Philippian church doesn't have, praise the Lord. But there are some problems that it does have, and one of those problems is the problem of being of one mind. The people struggle in this church to be united. They struggle sometimes to be on the same page, and we'll see that as we get further into the book. But notice here what Paul is calling for. If there's anything you get from being a follower of Jesus, right, if there's any consolation in Christ, if there's any comfort of love, if, if, if being a follower of Jesus changes us, he says, if there's any fellowship of the Spirit, you see, if there's any affection and mercy, of course, all these things are not ifs. Those things should be real for us. They should be real to our experience. He says, fulfill my joy, show that this is true. How? By being like-minded, by being of the same mind, by, by finding a way to be together, work together. He says, is that too much to ask? I want you to be like-minded, have the same love, be of one accord, be of one mind. Today, we're in a very individualistic society here in the West, very highly individualistic, and all these people walk into the church, and they have so many different ideas. All through the week, their mind's been filled with a lot of nonsense. And is it any surprise, then, that when we come to worship, we have trouble being of the same mind? Oh, may God be our helper, and may, instead of entertainment, may the Bible, may the Word that God gives us, may this be our help. May God transform us. This will transform us. Watching television or YouTube videos probably won't, mostly won't transform us. Not in the good way. It might transform us in the bad way. We want to be true and be of one mind. Your church should be largely of one mind, shouldn't it? If God's love is true, if his mercy is real, if his consolation in Jesus is for us, if it changes us, there should be some difference, some something that happens there. So Paul says, if this is true in your experience, show it by, by being of one mind. I don't think that's too much to ask, do you? Maybe in our congregation where you and I both worship, maybe we could be more of one mind and seek more to be of one mind in the scriptures and being faithful and true to the word of God. So there's something for us to work towards today and being led by God's spirit and true to the word. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to be of the same mind. All the kindness and mercy that Jesus shows us, Lord, they transform us, they change us. May our lives reflect it back into the world in a way that is an undeniable witness to the power of the Creator God. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. Thank you for these gifts from Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May your life and mine be a manifestation of these gifts into this broken and needy world.